we're going to talk about the wireless adapter uh, for the 360 and how to set it up on the PC. So here we have the wireless adapter from the front. Okay, and we're just going to plug it into an available USB slot. There's the sound, so that's good. And then we'll flip to the right monitor here. I wish I didn't try beforehand, but regardless. So over here we have, it shouldn't recognize it. So it's going to be unknown device. So once we go to unknown device, we can right click and cl click properties. From here, it won't give us any options. We go to hardware and we go to properties. And driver doesn't give any options there. So we got to go to change settings, which pops up this one here. And then we're going to go to update driver. And we're going to go, uh, don't search automatically because it won't find anything. It didn't find anything the first time. So from there, we go to update driver. We browse my uh, computer for driver software. From there, there's a secondary option here saying, let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. You're gonna click on that. And then from here, we're looking for, I think it's, yeah, Xbox 360 peripherals. So we're gonna click on there. And then there's three options. We have wireless 360 controller, 360 wireless controller via play and charge kit, which is absolutely an option. Uh, to, uh, I mean, people will argue with it online that uh, that won't work with the charge and play cable. It absolutely does. But the last one we want is the wireless receiver for Windows. So we go next and we say, yes, we want to install it. And now we have Xbox 360 wireless receiver for Windows. Um, the issue is if we unplug it, which is why we put the sticker on there that says do not unplug it, and we plug back in. Oh, look at that. It actually recognized it. Most of the time, maybe it's when you restart your computer, but most of the time it won't recognize it again. So it'll lose the settings on it, but this time it, uh, it looks like it recognized it again. And that's it.